let's get to the news. After House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy denied reports that he had planned to ask former President Trump to resign in the wake of the Capitol attack, the New York Times released audio of McCarthy telling colleagues he was going to talk to Trump about stepping down. All right, well, you know, I'm sure he wouldn't lie. It was probably just a misunderstanding. Let's hear it. The only discussion I would have with him is that I think this will pass, and it would be my recommendation we should be done. Oh, all right, well, that's pretty damning. <laughs> That'd be like the Encanto family saying, we always talk about Bruno. <laughs> After new audio revealed that House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy was planning to urge former President Trump to resign after the Capitol attack, Trump said that he thinks it was, quote, a big compliment. So we should just add resign to the list of the words he doesn't know? <laughs> Mr. President, you need to resign. Thank you, I have been working out. <laughs> Politico published photographs on Friday that appear to show Republican Congressman Madison Cawthorn wearing lingerie at a party, and I would say this is embarrassing for him, except he looks amazing? <laughs> Plus, I don't think this story will last, because if you Google Madison and lingerie, this isn't even on the first 12 pages. <laughs> I was told. <laughs> Baze, you gotta tell her you wrote that joke, Baze. <laughs> if she calls the office, Baze, you gotta take credit for it. <laughs> While speaking in Seattle on Friday to commemorate Earth Day, President Biden said that the Republican Party has changed and added, quote, this ain't your father's Republican Party, yes. And it certainly isn't your father's Republican Party because they nominated Lincoln. <laughs> During his rap, some people who have been critical said, you gotta stop making jokes about how, um, how Biden's an older gentleman. <laughs> so from now on, if you're watching the show, he's, we're gonna say he's 32. Problem assault. <laughs> During his rally in Ohio over the weekend, former President Trump appeared to see himself on one of the screens and said, quote, what a handsome president. Here, I uh, think we have some footage. Pretty perp. Pretty perp. <laughs> At the same rally, former President Trump said that he didn't like being called stupid, so he asked then White House Dr. Ronnie Jackson to give him a test to prove his intelligence. And this is cool. The other side had a menu. <laughs> Trump also said that water pressure regulations cause problems with the, quote, third element of a bathroom. So people have to flush toilets up to 10 times. Of course, when Trump says he has to go number three, it means he's flushing classified documents. <laughs> Mel, don't go in there. Do not, a lot of call logs, Mel. Because I don't know how the shredder works. We've had this conversation. <laughs> a city in Michigan yesterday appointed a cat named Jinx as the mayor for a day. It was all fun and games until Jinx signed an executive order implementing a nightly fireworks show. We could have gotten a, a dog that looked more like a dickhead, that is. <laughs> and finally, firefighters in Washington State last week rescued a woman after she fell headfirst into an outhouse toilet trying to retrieve her cell phone, which is crazy because it was an Android. <laughs> oh, Florida Senator Rick Scott yesterday criticized Disney for coming out against his state's so-called don't say gay law and said that he won't go back to the theme park. Oh no! You mean we won't get to see Rick Scott at Disney World? <laughs> Kids, do you even still want to go? <laughs> That's like saying the trip's booked, but heads up, the Hall of Presidents is closed. <laughs> After it was announced that Elon Musk had purchased Twitter, the social media platform's co-founder, Jack Dorsey, endorsed the sale and said he trusts Musk's, quote, mission to extend the light of consciousness. Well. I feel a lot better knowing that Twitter wasn't in great hands before. <laughs> President Biden said yesterday he tried to congratulate French President Emmanuel Macron on his re-election, but was unable to reach him because Macron was, quote, at the Eiffel Tower having a good time. Oof! That's gotta hurt. That's not even a good lie. <laughs> oh, uh, President Macron, he is uh, at the Eiffel Tower. 
You're having a good time yet? Well, yeah, you see, here's a baguette. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy led a group of Republicans yesterday on a visit to the U.S.-Mexico border, but Ted Cruz wasn't with them because he has no interest in only going halfway to Cancun. <laughs> a woman in California recently survived being stranded inside her car in the snow for nearly a week by eating one yogurt per day, and unfortunately for the rescue team, it was Activia. <laughs> oh! I got, I, what, what, how did we want him to react, I guess, is a, a fair question. Delta Airlines announced today that its flight attendant shifts will begin during boarding instead of after the plane's doors close. So if you think boarding was slow before, all right, we'll now begin boarding anyway with a January birthday. Januarys, you are welcome to board at this time. And finally, officials in New York are reportedly considering allowing pizzerias and other restaurants to sell cannabis-infused foods. Oh, they only come here if they're already high, said Papa John's. <laughs> As after it was announced that Elon Musk purchased Twitter this week, Tesla stock fell by 11%. Well, he wouldn't be the first person to get distracted from his job by Twitter. Republican Congressman Madison Cawthorn was reportedly cited yesterday at a North Carolina airport because he had a nine millimeter handgun. Just cited? <laughs> I bring a Poland spring bottle through security and suddenly I'm on a no fly list. Madison Cawthorn brings a gun and they're like, you're gonna have to put the safety on till we get in the air. Dr. Anthony Fauci is reportedly pulled out of Saturday's White House Correspondents' Dinner due to concerns over the coronavirus. I don't blame the guy. He's 81. I'm not even 50, and I still only travel by Zorb. <laughs> New York Mayor Eric Adams yesterday presented his first city budget of $99.7 billion, which means we're getting one new F train. <laughs> Brand new Somebody already took a dump in it. <laughs> President Biden announced today that Trevor Reed, a former Marine who had been detained in Russia since 2019, has been released as part of a prisoner swap. And it was a win-win, because -win for some reason, they wanted Weinstein. <laughs> Won't you to produce movies for us? <laughs> Vladimir wants to star in his own Shakespeare in Love. The New York City Council is currently considering a cut to the local hotel tax in order to boost tourism, because only in New York can you pay 500 bucks to stay in a room where you can flush the toilet from the bed. <laughs> Director Justin Lin announced yesterday that he decided to leave the movie Fast 10 just a few days after production started, so they're gonna go with Wes Anderson. That's right, Justin Lin announced yesterday that he decided to leave the movie Fast 10, reportedly due to creative differences. He wanted the movie to be creative, and no one else did. <laughs> In a new interview, actress Megan Fox said that she and her fiance, Machine Gun Kelly, occasionally drink a few drops of each other's blood for, quote, ritual purposes only. You know what? These guys are a perfect couple, because I look at them, and I cannot guess whose idea that was. You know how sometimes you'll see a couple jogging in the park and you'll say, oh, she dragged his ass out there, or this was clearly his idea, she's jogging in jeans, not here. <laughs> Either one of these two could have paused Dateline and turned to the other one and said, we should drink each other's blood. <laughs> Perfect match. I have no notes. <laughs> and finally, Singer Harry Styles will be on the June cover of the magazine Better Homes and Gardens. And this is cool, Martha Stewart is on Tiger Beat. <laughs> President Biden hosted the first movie screening of his presidency tonight at the White House. And according to Jill, his last. Who's that again? <laughs> Why is she mad at him? Did that guy just die? Tesla CEO Elon Musk tweeted yesterday that former President Donald Trump's platform, Truth Social, has a terrible name. Um, okay, Elon Musk. 
Dr. Anthony Fauci said this week that the country is now out of the pandemic phase of the coronavirus and firmly in the remembering how to talk to people phase. <laughs> Hello, coworker. How was your weekend? Plus, what's a sad memory from your childhood? In newly released excerpts from a deposition taken last year, former President Trump said that he was worried that protesters might throw fruits and vegetables at him. This is just more proof that Trump only thinks in cartoons. <laughs> they could throw tomatoes, or worse, someone could drop an anvil on my head, and then cracks would appear on my face and body, and I might crumble into a pile of dust with just two eyeballs sitting on top, and then, folks, the eyeballs, the eyeballs would blink twice. Gunk, gunk. <laughs> According to the latest numbers, seven billion dollars of military equipment was left in Afghanistan last year after the U.S. withdrew from the country. It's the oldest trick in the book. Leave something behind after the breakup to give you an excuse to go back. <laughs> yeah, hey, did I leave some Humvees over there? According to a new poll, nearly 80% of Americans are concerned about misinformation influencing the outcome of November's midterm elections, and about 35% are counting on it. <laughs> Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi today announced a new plan to lower gas prices. It's essentially a new gas pump where every third gallon is just Arizona iced tea. Russian President Vladimir Putin said yesterday that if any country interferes with his attack on Ukraine, quote, they must know our response to counterstrikes will be lightning fast. Unless, of course, there's a little bit of mud. <laughs> a family in Illinois recently found a bag of McDonald's french fries while renovating their home that may have been in the wall for more than 60 years. Man, it is hard to believe that 60 years ago, those fries were hot for three minutes. <laughs> And finally, the NFL Draft kicks off tonight in Las Vegas, where 31 lucky players will avoid the Jets. And that, you guys, was a monologue.